definitely looks like she is thin. She was pretty fat yesterday, which means that she had, here they actually didn't take a frozen rat the last two weeks. So we're gonna go ahead and offer her a fresh one and see if she's interested. These guys are so tricky. I mean, I'm trying to figure them out. And again, if I can get Jerry to snap first and take it, we're good to go. But uh, uh, these guys are frustrating. Every time I pull the babies out, I go upstairs and they got more babies for me to put away. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. I'm gonna get the day started with something pretty awesome. I'm not gonna to lie to you. This little girl, oh my gosh, she definitely looks like she is thin. She was pretty fat yesterday, which means that she had a bunch of babies. And this is just a small little girl. This would definitely be on the small side of what we would normally breed. I cannot believe how much energy she put into production. She is definitely super thin, but I can see a baby crawling right over here. It looks really good. Oh, it's a little aneurythristic too. So she must have been a head aneurythristic. I know we bred her to an aneurythristic male. I wasn't sure if she was a head or not, so that's definitely proven out. Got one little baby Annery here. Ooh, and Mama, don't bite me, Mama. Don't bite me. It's okay, sweetheart. It's all right. I know I see one little baby cruising around right here. What do we got? Oh, yep. There's another baby. Here's two. Oh, look at they just disappear like that. It's so crazy. So two normal babies right there. One aneurythristic. Let's see if we have a lot more. I'm not expecting a real large litter because she is such a small girl, but we do have another normal here. So that puts us up at four. It's okay. I can see some more moving around over here. Oh, another aneurythristic over here. That's five babies. Oh, got another one over here. Look at that. Ooh. All right. Another little one there. That's six babies. Hey, where are you going? You little monkey. You stay in there. Let's see, got six babies so far, which is really quite good for a girl this size, to be totally honest with you. So I'm gonna see if there's anything. Oh, there's another one, another annuary. That's seven babies. This is really a lot better litter than I was expecting from such a small girl like this. Seven babies. We'll see if there's, I can see some movement over here. Seven, eight babies. This is another little normal. And these little monkeys are trying to get out. Eight babies. I think that that might be it, guys. I think eight babies is the number. Just do a real quick look, get her cleaned up. But that was a really good litter. Let's just take a really quick look and see. We have one, two, three aneurystics and one, two, three, four, five normals. So not bad, eight babies and all. That is a really good litter and a great way to start the day. What do you say we have a great day together? You guys know that I love feeding the frogs. So let's go ahead and start with our Azurus, these absolutely beautiful electric blues. pretty she looks oh it's so it you know it is falling i'm gonna be honest with you it's supposed to be like 42 degrees did you guys hear that it's supposed to be like 42 degrees this weekend is a low so she's definitely gonna need a little bit of sweater but uh <laughs> she's got what is that, a, she has a new baby yeah new baby hedgehog oh my gosh <laughs> Lori's actually going out of town tomorrow. She's going down to Florida with my daughter to Disney. So uh, you got her a present. So did you give me some? Um, yeah, I got you some hand soap. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. Does you're that welcome. mean I've got dirty hands? Yeah. Go wash your hands. Okay. Beardy actually didn't take a frozen rat the last two weeks, so we're gonna go ahead and offer her a fresh one and see if she's interested. Certainly looks like she's interested right off the rip. Totally different reaction than in the frozen for sure. Yep, yeah, there she goes. So that's what it is. Sometimes animals want frozen, sometimes they want fresh, sometimes, you know, you gotta find the right thing for them. Regardless, uh, Verde took that like a champ, and it's amazing how different she is. As soon as she smelled that fresh one, she was right up on it for sure, so she should have a nice good meal in her. Her now that is always awesome. I know I've mentioned this before, but see that white camera over there? Or say this white camera that is up in the corner you can barely see over there? We finally have the live cams going. I know we've had Bella cam, we had the hatch cam that didn't work out the way we actually wanted it to, but regardless, now we have five cameras throughout. We've got the tortoise cam, we've got Lucy cam, we have Bella cam, we have Perdita cam, and we have Nova cam, and we're about to have an alligator cam. And you can actually watch those at Live Reptile Cams. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Bella's camera is right up here as well. And they're actually cycling through 
through. So 30 seconds, they switch to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. Our hope is eventually you guys can choose which camera you want to watch, and maybe we can add another 10 or 12 cameras in. I don't know. Anyways, live reptile cams, link in the description. Go show it some love. It's pretty cool because you can actually get in the chat room. I pop in there at least once or twice a day, uh, look at the animals and uh, see what's going on here at the Reptarium. And again, if it's a success, we'll go ahead and start adding more cameras and eventually figure out how you can actually choose which camera you want to watch. So I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to go ahead and feed Ben and Jerry, but the trick kind of is to get them to both eat, or at least I think it is, if I can get Jerry to take it first because Ben and Jerry are both really excited in the beginning. If Ben takes it first, sometimes Jerry doesn't seem to want to go. So the trick here is to hopefully get Jerry to strike first and then I can feed Ben. Oh, what, who got it? Who got it? Oh, I think they both got it. Wait a second here. That's not good. Ah, Jerry let go. Ben took it. So we'll just see if we could get Jerry to go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, that's the thing. As soon as Ben takes it, Jerry doesn't seem to be interested. So Jerry lunged for it, but unfortunately Ben got it first. Now he won't need it. Sometimes when Ben is actually getting going, Jerry will take. So I'll try again. Could have probably have to wait a couple minutes just until Ben is eating this guy. These guys are so tricky. I mean, I'm trying to figure them out. And again, if I can get Jerry to snap first and take it, we're good to go. But uh, nah, these guys are frustrating. All right, and there he goes. Again, that happens every time. Once Ben is eating, it seems there's got to be some symbiosis in the brains, right? When Ben is eating, Jerry's afraid to eat. But then once Ben is eating for a while, it's almost like Jerry realizes that he can now eat. It's really weird. I don't know how things work on this, but it is crazy. I'm just glad they're both eating. This time of year is super busy. It's really crazy down here in the dungeon. Babies are coming in, babies are going. I can't keep it straight anymore. <laughs> There's so much going on down here. Every time I pull the babies out, I go upstairs and they got more babies for me to put away. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you seem so disheveled. <laughs> I'm the one that's in charge of keeping all these babies fed and healthy and ready to go to their new homes. So I gotta get to work, you guys. I was anxiously awaiting this clutch to hatch out. This was a super lorry pinstripe bred to a lorry ball python, and there's some beauties in here. These three right here, believe it or not, are all just lorry pinstripes, and it really gives you an idea of how the lorry gene kind of interacts with other genes like pinstripe. Now, this is actually just a lorry ball python. This is just a straightforward lorry ball python. To give you an idea, it looks a little bit cinnamon, looks a little bit azanthic -y, but it's kind of its own gene, right? So this is the base gene of lorry, and then, of course, if you remember how we hatch, this is the super lorry pinstripe right here. Of course, the Super Lorry Leopard actually had those crazy blues and stuff like this. This one's more of a silver with a really faint patterning down the back. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I think it looks a little different than the mom that actually produced once one, but it's kind of hard to tell. Nevertheless, I was excited to see these little buggers crawl out of the egg. I wanted to kind of show you this because you don't want to discount breeding even a normal ball python. Oftentimes, a lot of people are thinking like, I gotta have this crazy two gene animal over here to this three gene animal over here. This is actually a normal female ball python, but it's bred to a Pastavi orange dream. So the Pastavi orange dream is pastel, it's Mojave, and it is orange dream. And the results are absolutely amazing. Again, this is the only normal ball python we got out of the entire clutch. Just a normal ball python, nothing crazy there. That's okay. Then we got some cool stuff, like even just a pastel. Listen, pastels are still beautiful, even though they're not like crazy, whatever. But then I want to show you the difference between a normal pastel and a pastel orange dream. It's relatively subtle, but you can certainly see more blushing, a little more orange coming out of it. And again, the super orange dream is ridiculous. So you gotta start with the orange dream to get to the super orange dream. Then we have a whole series of like Mojave stuff here. This looks like probably just a normal Mojave here. This looks like a normal Pastavi here. But what I wanted to really show you is that the difference between a normal Pastavi ball python, which is the pastel, the Mojave, and the Pastavi orange dream. Again, you can really see the heavy blushing in it. You can see more orange coming through and stuff like that. This is an absolutely 
beautiful animal for sure. And this is what the actual dad was right there. And it looks like we've got another little pastavi orange dream here. Again, really light, beautiful oranges and blushings and something like that. So again, a beautiful clutch from a relatively simple breeding. Oftentimes you don't have to start with crazy stuff to still produce beautiful animals. So I was excited and super happy to share this with you. These baby frillies are so fun. I love feeding them. And basically what I'll do oftentimes, I'll just take these little roaches and I'll just kind of toss one up there and hopefully he goes after it. And I'll just kind of do that until they find it. And look at, they're already down there. Oh my gosh, they're fighting each other. I'll throw another one up there. This one will crush it. Oh yeah, he's crushing it. These guys are just little monsters, I tell you what. <laughs> Once they see something, see they're both going at it. They're like, yeah, who's gonna get there first? Oh my God, these guys are so much fun. I'll throw some more over there. You can see this guy down below over here. They're, look at, they're all just running at it. We'll throw a couple down here. Here, we'll throw a couple more. Now they'll really all come out. Look at them just crushing it. <laughs> they are so absolutely adorable. I mean, just take a look at these little monkeys right here. It's a far cry from when they were babies when they hardly even hunted. Now you throw stuff in there and they just like go running around like crazy. These little baby frillies are awesome. And our next frillies are due to hatch in only a week or two. It's gonna be epic. And hey, if we're gonna feed the babies, might as well go ahead and feed Nova. Nova, what's up, buddy? What's up, bud? You want? There you go, buddy. I love the way his little flaps go when he's eating. They're so absolutely adorable. I'll feed him a couple roaches and go on. Listen, feeding stuff is still one of the highlights of my day, whether it's snakes or lizards. It's just awesome. It's a fun time. It's something I look forward to every time I get a chance to. I'm gonna see if I can get Diddy down here. Come on, Diddy. That's a boy. That's a boy. Good job, bud. He's still a little bit shy. There's no doubt about that. Here, Diddy, come on. Come on, up here. There you go, Diddy. There you go, buddy. Can I pat you? Can I pat you? No, he's still not ready for that. But he will come down for food, which is good. Bruce is doing a good job of habituating him. Come on, bud, come on. Oh, he sees the ones. Oh, God, I gotta take that out. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? No, okay. Well, I'll leave him go. Again, slow process. He's not afraid to come take food from us. That's good. We'll get him to the point where he's good. And uh, he's really a lot better for Bruce because Bruce works with him almost every day. I always love my boy Flaming Hot here. Absolutely gorgeous bearded dragon. And I love the fact that usually he'll chase roaches, which is usually pretty fun. But first, the weird thing about bearded dragons is that they have to kind of see it. Which, by the way, I want to do a video soon about the fact that bearded dragons and a handful of other lizards actually, through studies, to have REM sleep. I'll get back to that in another vlog here coming soon. For now, we're we're gonna go ahead and see if my guy Flaming Hot wants to eat some roaches. Next up is my Xanthic Savannah monitor. This dude is a monster. What are you doing, buddy? You want? Oh! He <laughs> loves the roaches. This dude has grown so quick and he is really an amazing animal. Absolutely love it. This is like a little T-Rex. Here you go, little buddy. There you go. Come on, up, 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 up. There you go. <laughs> Savannah monitors are really a great pet lizard. I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. If you want a bigger monitor lizard, but you don't want something that's huge or you don't have the ability to take care of something that's huge, savannas are often that kind of first starting point to the giant monitors because they don't get huge. They don't need as much room, but they definitely need a lot of room and they're really easy to care for. Absolutely amazing animals. What an absolutely amazing litter of Sambo is. I always love it when I have baby snakes. Do me a favor and check out this video over here with some other baby snakes that are born. A playlist with a ton of baby snakes over here you can hit that subscribe button while you're at it turn those post notifications on so you know when i upload a video make sure to have a wonderful day and be kind to someone i promise i'll see you guys tomorrow